to talk more of someone having an hour-long content back to back every week oh my god that's a lot that's very time consuming like that's why i say you have to be constantly creating like every day you have to be creating you have to you have to be on it like the youtube it's it's crazy you know hi my loves welcome or welcome back to my channel and how are you loves doing today how are you doing how are you doing how are you doing how are you doing <laughs> it's friday from when from the day i'm filming this video and i'm happy that it's weekend you guys i'm so happy that it's the weekend i have um i have a rave that i'll be attending on sunday i'm super excited for that rave because it's a beach rave okay and finger crossed i am going to bring you guys along in that vlog okay so stay tuned so anyways you guys i want to talk on something that has been in my chest for these past few days and so it's about youtube it's about youtube you must have seen the title by now my journey here on youtube and how i've come so far the different phases i went in my youtube channel an advice that i wish i would have been able to give my later self you know back then when i was starting it's just basically everything that i've come to learn everything that i've come to understand about youtube and just this youtube community this youtube space that we are all in if this is something that you would love to hear about stay tuned grab yourself some snack okay let's get chatty let's get all talky talky okay baby girl <laughs> and baby boy get comfy let's just dive into it straight up let me get comfy let me relax because this is a very this is a very very deeper topic <laughs> especially if you've been on the youtube space youtube is just something entirely different um, the youtube is different from tiktok youtube is different from instagram the algorithm is different the the way to go about the content is different i feel like it's just now that they have been able to, they're adding you know other features like that tiktok features and making you youtube shorts and all of that aside from their algorithm the community the payment you know monetization is way different if you hit it well if you do it well if you know what you are doing and you do it well there's just so much opportunity in the youtube space than in any other media app instagram is different from tiktok it that uh, tiktok is a whole separate app i feel like for me right now i prefer enjoying content from tiktok than creating content for tiktok and youtube for me is a whole different space like i said earlier <laughs> like you saying it's a space where you have to constantly create if you want to see any kind of results you have to constantly create contents and those contents are very tasking now unlike unlike instagram that is mostly a picture content is mostly a picture content app rather than videos videos on instagram are mostly short videos i don't think anyone would watch more than one minute video on instagram it's not as time consuming as a content that you has to be at least 10 minutes at least 10 minutes if you want some kind of watch watch um time tiktok also the same thing except you want to go the extra mile and you know do that extra content you know go that because the people that go extra mile on their tiktok content the car their camera quality their editing quality like always top top notch but i feel like that one is you have to be earning okay and you have to be able to afford all of those okay. for youtube content you can go as far as staying one week editing one content and i mean 
you you being hours on your laptop each day and you have not still come to the end of that content like right now what's even raining now on you on youtube is people having one hour content on their youtube channel 10 minutes is a lot for me 15 minutes is a lot so those videos can take me three days before i edit them so talk more of someone having an hour long content back to back every week oh my god that's a lot that's very time consuming like that's why i say you have to be constantly creating like every day you have to be creating you have to you have to be on it like the youtube it's it's crazy in you know? a way if you don't have passion for youtube i don't think you would even go through it at all because youtube monetization is hard <laughs> It's hard, it's harder than you think. I used to think that getting monetized on YouTube is not so hard, but oh my god, I have been almost three years on this, and yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, but it's very crazy. But we still thank God for growth. But if you don't have passion for it, if you don't want, if you don't constantly grow, constantly um, invest in it you might not you won't see any you might not see any growth it's very very frustrating though but that's why i say you have to have passion for it on the days when you are not seeing the results you know you are doing it because you enjoy doing it you you feel like you have a community in it and you are seeing you know that little progress even if it's one subscriber a week so if you have passion like i'm saying if you have passion for it you wouldn't you wouldn't mind the hassle because you know that you can still you still get there <laughs> yeah you still get there you just have to constantly create constantly create and be consistent you have to be very consistent on youtube very very consistent very it's very demanding youtube youtube is very demanding it's very it's that it's one app that when you when you come in you won't feel like it's so demanding until you have to stop posting content and pushing out your content then now realize wow this is way different than any other app but i feel like that's the that's the icing on the cake you know it's not something that's easy so you doing it means that you're doing a good job you know pat yourself on the back <laughs> it's a little bit harder to see results on youtube but you know in the long term you can yeah. try to evolve your craft you know do something different do something new try different things get a niche find your not get a niche find your niche let's talk about monetization on youtube if you are running to youtube because of money calm your temper calm down hold on where you are <laughs> that money that you feel like is in youtube or that money that you know that it's in youtube before you get it see you sweat there are very few people that have the grace and they are able to make it immediately they enter but if you are someone who is starting from scratch you don't know anybody to boost you up you don't know anyone to collaborate with or anything like you are doing everything on your own from the scratch you have barely any friends oh my god it's different <laughs> it's different <laughs> you have to you have to have over a thousand subscribers and over four thousand watch hour and i kid you not that four thousand watch hour that's where the work is at having one thousand subscribers <clears throat> is not so hard is hard okay it took me about two years to get 1000 subscribers i know but that 4000 watch hour that's where the that's where the work is at that's where the work is at baby and those those watch hours they don't come so quickly oh my god well, i have over a hundred thousand total views and i still don't have up to 4000 watch hour that shit doesn't make sense to me at all <laughs> Because what do you mean I have over 100,000 views and I don't have up to 4,000 watch hour in that 100,000 views? Like, so what is in that home? Like, how do you guys calculate that shit? Like, it's crazy. I, I'm stuck right there right now and it is very crazy. It's one crazy phase to, to get stuck at. But 
we're just gonna ignore it and just keep doing what we know how to do best and let's hope magically hope the numbers rise because baby there's they have been stagnant for quite a while <laughs> i feel like what i understand from youtube the key to youtube is staying consistent in your creativity just being consistent you want you in what you are doing find the niche okay find your niche all right when i came in first on youtube i was talking i was just doing anything and everything but over the years i've been able to evolve and find that place where find a space where i'm comfortable in like i found a niche for myself and i'm hon it's honestly guiding me and helping me to stay consistent because i know my niche so i know what to talk about i'm not scouting from everywhere i know okay this is my umbrella and this is where i see i see results okay finding your niche would help you settle in more and stay consistent so just stay consistent evolve your craft invest invest in youtube okay invest in your mic invest in your filming equipment invest in your lightning just invest as often as you can invest okay because the more your videos are looking better the more well kept you are looking in your videos the better the views are and the better you even the more yeah i wanted to say something but the english was so bad <laughs> let me know what you guys think what you guys have to say about this if you're a youtuber also let me know what's your journey like have you been able to push it how are you pushing it if you're a youtuber watching this and you'd like to collaborate with me okay let's do some collaboration together if you're a small youtuber and you also want to collaborate with me let's collaborate girl let's do something girl <laughs> so my love i've come to the end of this video um i hope you guys enjoyed this talk you know i hope you're able to get me and let me know what your thoughts are on in the comment section let's get all charty 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 okay anyways my loves bye i will see you guys on my next upload which will be soon